If you're tired of spending countless hours trading and not seeing the results that you want, well, this video is for you because we're gonna be diving into how to become profitable by trading less. One of the most fascinating thing I discovered during my nine years of trading is I could actually make more money by being in the market less in comparison to when I came into the market and I invested hours and hours in the market trading because I had a worker's mentality like most new traders who come in because you're used to working for someone and your time means money. So you're trading, putting in that time and thinking that you're going to get more, but that's just simply not how it works from a professional standpoint. So ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're gonna be diving into the process that you need to keep in mind in order for you to trade less, not just your trading strategy, because a lot of traders think that by having a trading strategy alone, you can just come to the market, make money, and everything is cool. You have to also factor certain things. You have to factor things like timing in the market, and timing with a good trading strategy is going to allow you to become profitable. So in today's video, we're gonna be diving into the steps that you need to keep in mind in order for you to trade less, to spend less time in the market, and come out with more money. If that sounds like something you're interested in, Let's dive right into the video. So when it comes to the process of spending less time in the market and making more money, you have to understand that there is an entire process for this outside of your trading strategy. There are a couple of things that you have to consider, especially if you're coming into the market, if you're a seasoned trader or a beginner trader, I'm gonna be walking you through some of the things that you have to consider step by step. The very first thing is the pair that you are trading or the instrument that you're trading in any market, right? Because that is the vehicle for your success. There's a saying which goes, you can make a million dollars a million different way, right? There are multiple ways for you to do that. And the pair that you choose is kind of like the vehicle that allows you to attain the goal. If you're coming to the market and you're not thinking about the pair, you know, you're doing yourself a huge huge disadvantage. So the very first thing is the pair that you're trading. Is it conducive to the lifestyle that you want? You know, your time zone, for, for instance, I live in the Eastern time zone. So I want to be trading the New York session because it's the easiest for me to wake up in the morning at about 730 Eastern, right? I don't have to wake up and trade the London session or, you know, trade at night just based on where I am. The New York session fits my lifestyle the most. It allows me to come into the market at seven and you know be done at a certain time so the pair is what is going to allow you to mainly trade less right so that's the first starting point so picking the right pair is going to be important if you're taking a look at the market there are lots of different pairs when you go through forex you can see okay euro usd it's paired with the dollar right if you see that the pair is paired with the dollar you know that the dollar eastern time new york session right it's going to be moving there's going to be liquidity flowing into that market because these are business hours for like the banks the institutions right transactions flowing into the market if you're trying to trade euro usd during the asian session you're likely not going to see much movement happening in the market because there is no global transaction happening in the market same thing with pound dollar uh, usd jpy you know it moves well during the new york session and you can also catch some moves during the asian session as well just because of the pair that you know it's paired with right so when you look at the market you look at the pair you are also seeing the business hours and the transactions that are coming into the market you know that this pair is likely going to move during the asian session because when the asian market open your business hours are starting at a certain time and you know if you're trading that pay you want to know when the business hours are starting right the asian session is starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. The New York session is starting at you know 7 or 8 a.m. Eastern time, right? So it's kind of like a balance. So when you come to the market and you know that the pair that you're trading is likely going to be moving at particular points in the day, you know when to come into the market and capture the big move. So that's the very first step. If you take a look at even Euro USD, you can kind of see, okay, you know, some moves are happening. If you take a look at a pair like gold, you can likely expect movement to happen during the New York session, as well as the London session as well. Same thing with EURUSD, NZD, 
you know you're likely going to expect the movement to be happening a lot later in the day you know if you're in the asian time zone that's perfect this pair would be perfect for you because you can trade that and that's when it's going to move then the easiest way to look at this is to come into the market look at the, the charts and say okay you know when is this big moves when am i seeing the big moves and what you're going to see here if we look at the time zone we can see that this is around 2100 so that's about let's say like 10 or 11 p.m my time which would be you know very much in the asian session right so we're seeing massive moves happen and during the new york session or seeing really like nothing going on right so the pair that you trade guys is going to be what allows you to trade less and make more money so that's the very start that's the first starting point you want to pick the right pair for the time zone that you live in the next thing that you want to consider guys is what we call the daily average range each pair has its daily average range and that is just the amount of peps or the amount of movement that it is going to move per day if you're trading a pair like gold gold is crazy gold is volatile we all know that gold can move you know 100 peps 200 peps in one day but when you take a look at a pair like euro usd that's not the case euro usd you know likely has an average range of maybe 70 you know to even 60 peps this is this is it right so 60 peps that's what we've seen and that took about 13 hours so it's not as volatile as gold there's not as much it's not as liquid as gold but it is still great if you're a beginner trader boom like you know this is a great pair for you that's one of the things you want to consider right the pair that you're trading is it going to allow you to hit your objective if you have an objective or 100 peps how frequently is the market going to give you that what is the expectation right i have an objective of 30 peps so when i come into the market i am only looking for 30 peps and i am also trading a pair that is quite liquid. Oftentimes, even on a bad day, I can get that. So you wanna know what is possible for the pair that you're trading. This is just you doing your due diligence. This is just you you know, trying to understand the market that you're trading. The next thing is the session time. And the session time, we've touched on that you know, a bit because that's why you're picking the pair. So if you're trading a pair like gold, you're coming to the market, you know that gold is going to move well during the New York session. What you do is you're coming into the market before the moves start to happen. You become an observer. If we're taking a look at this example here on gold, we go over to the five minute time frame. You want to do your analysis. You do your standard analysis in the market and then you come in at the time before price starts to move, right? And right now what we can see here, this is about 6 a.m. Eastern time. So I usually come to the market at about 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. So let's see as we go into the market, at 7 30 a.m so right now it's about seven o'clock let's go over to the five minute just to speed things up a little bit so this is about 7 25 and this is 7 30. so 7 30 you know i'm in the market now and i am now observing i'm now watching the market seeing okay you know what can we expect uh today for price and you know do i want to be a buyer do i want to be a seller and what we do is essentially you decide based on your strategy this is where your strategy comes into play based on that you can say okay you know what i'm coming to the market at specific times of the day the reason why i'm coming to the market at 7 30 is because you know that's pre-market right new york opens eight o'clock boom we start to get more liquidity coming to the market transactions are flowing but i want to be an observer i want to watch and what i'm essentially looking for is just an entry opportunity based on the higher time frame at 737 we're starting to see you know price do its thing and more buyers are essentially you know looking to dominate here so we can look to get involved in our trade and what we see here is we set our objective let's say you know 34 peps on the trade price is also taking out this previous high boom so we're now essentially setting our take profit up boom we're looking for price to you know give us some moves right if buyers are coming to the market they're targeting the highs and that's essentially what we're looking to target so we're looking to target this high and then we're also looking to target you know other highs as well and we can likely set our objective for you know 90 peps right we can risk 34 peps to make 90 peps and based on the pair that we're trading we know that with gold that is also a possibility that is something that we can actually get if the market does continue to move but at the same time what i said i normally aim for 30 peps on the trade so on average i'm looking 
to at least take something off the table at about 30 or 40 peps. Generally, it's usually about 30 peps, so we can use this as the 30 pep range and then see what price decides to do, and boom. So, right, that's where, you know, if I wanna take something off the table, I can take something off the table or let the market run a little bit. It is entirely up to you as a trader how you want to manage your position. But what you're seeing is you've come into the market at a specific time of the day and price is already moving towards your overall objective and boom, you know, so within a few, like let's say within a few minutes, really, uh, you've hit your overall objective. This essentially took 45 minutes to one hour for us to get 100 pips. But this is because of the daily range in gold. You're trading pair that is very liquid. If you go over to Euro USD and try to do the same thing, it may take you a couple of days to get 100 pep worth of move, right? You know, you may have to be in the market a little bit longer. So it's important that when you're coming into the market, you are thinking about the pair that you are going to trade because guys, like that is just how it goes. You have to factor in the pair, you have to factor in the daily range, you have to factor in the session time. If you're not coming into the market, at the right time of the day where that pair is supposed to move consistently, you're not going to get consistent results and you're going to just miss out on the opportunity. You know, for gold, you know, within an hour, I am essentially done, done for the day. So if you go over to your USD, what we can see is this move that took place a couple of hours ago, this was Thursday actually, we saw 56 peps, half of what we got on gold and it took about nine hours. So the pair that you're trading is going to largely dictate how well you can trade and how much time you have to spend in the market and what your objective is. If you're trading Euro and your objective is only 25 or 30 peps, you can relatively get that pretty quickly, maybe within a couple of hours more consistently. But if you have 60 to 50 or 100 peps, you may have to spend more time waiting for that. So that's one of the things when it comes to trading less. This is something that helped me in my overall trading to factor in the pair, to factor in the daily range, right? The average daily range, that's something that you guys can also look up online as well. If you don't know about it, you can you know, start to look. There are different, you know, through different quarters, you're going to see when your pair is likely going to be moving the most. Different seasons will affect a pair differently. You know, Euro might move a lot more in the September, November, December months than in the summer months. Each pair will have its own average daily range and it changes will fluctuate but obviously not by much gold is just a, a monster of a pair so if you guys want to focus on really trading and spending a lot less time in the market and making more money you have to factor in the pair you got to factor in the daily range and you got to show up at the right time of the day for essentially when you're getting premium price and this is what we do here with gold you know you're trading the london session you can also trade gold during the london session but the best way to even study a pair and say, you know, when should I be coming into the market? And when can I be getting premium price in the market? Premium price is essentially when the highs are forming and when the lows are also forming as well. If you take a look at the big moves here, you can see that this massive move happened during the New York session. Picking the right pair, and picking the right time to come to the market is what is going to mainly allow you to trade less. It is not just about your session. It is not just about your strategy. It has to factor in a combination of the three things that we touched on in this video. If you guys found it insightful in any way, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, hope you guys are out there living free. Peace.